In my last video, I talked a little bit about why I'm very hesitant to tell people what has worked for my daughter's eczema, and now I'm going to give a little bit of a warning about natural products. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I had done a lot of research and I had visited doctors. Most doctors, the only thing they've ever given me was steroids for my daughter, which I, I purchased and I just didn't use. So I had decided that I was going to, rather than, I was kind of doing a buckshot with, um, with eczema. I was trying a whole bunch of different things. So I try one lotion in the morning and then she came home from daycare, I tried something else and then at night after a bath I'd try something and then during the night I'd rub something on her. And honestly, I really had no idea what was working and what was not working. So I decided to narrow it down and I was going to try one product for a solid week um, and see how she reacted. So I was trying this one product and I'm not going to tell you guys what because um, you know I feel like you'll get your, your hopes up and it might not work for you and you might get disappointed. So I was trying one product and her eczema almost disappeared. Um, and I was telling my husband, I was like, look, like it's working, it's finally going away, her, her eczema is finally going away. And that week came to an end and I switched to another project and I switched to Green Goo Dry Skin. And I have done a review on this and when I did the review, it didn't click that this was actually something that was bad for her. So here, this is an all natural product, okay? And all natural does not mean safe, it just means not synthetic. This is all natural, it has um, herbs, some oils in it. Uh, I think they have lavender essential oil as well as carrier oils. So a carrier oil is sunflower oil and olive oil. It has a vitamin E. Vitamin E helps extend the shelf life. It is not a preservative. Um, however, since there's no water or water-based ingredient here, you don't really need a preservative unless you're putting water inside of it with your hands. And um, it's divided into active and inactive ingredients. And all the active ingredients are the, the herbs, the flowers like calendula and chamomile. And the inactive ingredient, the first one, um, is organic beeswax. Now, I personally do not have a lot of products with beeswax um, in them for my daughter. So beeswax, lanolin, Vaseline, petroleum jelly, whatever you want to call it, these are called moisture barriers. And moisture barriers, what they do is they keep the moisture in. Um, and so some people, what they do is they'll put like an oil or something very thin on eczema and then on top of that, they'll slap on some Vaseline or whatever. And it keeps the moisture in right after they take a bath. The issue that I have had that I was very hesitant to use this is not only does it keep moisture in, but it can also keep um, negative things inside, such as bacteria. Um, and bacteria can grow and you can end up with infection. I have seen, um, unfortunately, I saw somebody in the UK who had died of an eczema infection within um, 24 hours, it, it turned into staph. So I was wary about using this because I didn't want her, if she had an infection, I didn't want to kind of seal it inside um, and not expose it to oxygen. I just, I, I did not feel like that was a good thing. So I only have a few products with eczema, with, um, sorry, with beeswax. So I, at the end of that one week where I was using this one product and her eczema was, I swear it was almost gone. Like you could barely see it. It was very, very light in color. It was not red or angry. And I switched to green goo because I wanted to use it up. I am bound and determined to go through the products that I have in my house within the next six months. And the first day I used it, so it's at night after her bath, her eczema was a lot worse the next day. Um, and I also had been using it during the night as well, um, you know, because she starts scratching at night, so I put it on her at night. And I didn't make the connection for a couple days. Um, I just figured, because we're having a change of season, that her eczema was getting worse because of that. Perhaps she was scratching more than usual. Um, I finally, it finally clicked, um, and I thought perhaps it could be beeswax. Um, wanting to verify this, um, I know I could have probably taken to her to an allergist, um, and gotten that tested. I have seen people have mixed reviews on allergists. So I decided to pull the green goo um, and go back to the product, go back to the product I had been using before. So I went back and her eczema, within a few days, got a lot better. Um, now I was very hesitant to use the green goo. Now there are a number of ingredients in here. There are a lot of herbs. I think there are like one, two, three. There's six herbs in here and you know, there's oils, vitamin E, other things. I didn't know exactly what it is. My hunch was it was beeswax. I have 
Um, another product, this is a homemade product I made at my mom's house. This has um, sunflower oil, shea butter, and beeswax. Okay, so no essential oils. That's three things. And I have used straight shea butter on her. I have used straight sunflower oil on her, and it didn't have any negative effects. So the only thing that I thought it could be was beeswax. So I went back and I started using this product on her and it caused the same reaction. Like her eczema within a day or so got very red and inflamed. Um, and I, it sounds a little bad that you're kind of experimenting on your child. I do understand that. Um, but I needed to know what was causing her eczema to flare up so poorly because you know, everyone will tell you once you have eczema, they will tell you heal the gut, heal the gut, heal the gut. And you can heal the gut all you want, but if I am putting something on her skin and she is having an allergic reaction to it, it doesn't matter if she has this miraculous, amazing, perfect gut. This thing that I am applying topically, the balm that I am applying topically, can still negatively or positively affect her eczema. So I realize this is a slightly long video. I would encourage you to, especially with natural products, to document everything that you are using on yourself or your child. Um, so first of all, you need to limit, don't do what I do and do a buckshot and just throw everything at, at yourself or your kids. Use one thing, um, take pictures if possible. It's very hard for me to get pictures of my child. She's a toddler and she runs, everything looks like the flash. Take pictures, document it, and figure out what is working and what is not. If you are having a negative reaction, um, it could be your diet, that's possible, but it could also be um, what you are using topically. And natural products are no exception. You still can have negative reactions to natural products. So I am glad that I found out that beeswax um, is something that sets out for eczema. That is, for me, it's a very easy thing to avoid because I do not purchase a lot of products with beeswax. Um, I don't know if she'll grow out of this. I haven't tested it on her normal skin, I was only using it on eczema, so maybe it, it only affects her when she has um, damaged, damaged or irritated skin, I'm not sure. Um, but make sure you guys document everything and you will find out, eventually you will find uh, what sets off your eczema and how you can um, help remedy that. So thank you guys for watching, please give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.